In this video, we'll look at some more multiplication properties for exponents, and we'll start by looking at the expression x squared cubed. What does this really mean? Well, it's telling us that we're doing x squared times x squared times x squared. We have three of those. That's what this, the cube tells us. And using our properties from the previous section, we can add these three exponents together here, and we get x to the sixth. My question for you is how can we go from here directly to there? What pattern do you see? What are you seeing happening up here with these exponents that lets us start with the 2 and the 3 and get to 6? Well, I'm hoping that you're thinking, well, when we have a to the m to the n, when we have an exponent raised to another exponent, what we can do is we can take and multiply the exponents together. So a to the m to the n is a to the m times n. We call this property the power of a power. Let's look at quantity xy cubed. What does this mean? Well, this is meaning xy times xy times xy. And we can clean this up as x cubed y cubed. And again, my question is, how do we go from our original problem right straight to this? Well, effectively what we're doing is we're applying this exponent to both of the things being multiplied, both of the factors that are in the base. xy is the base. We can extend this exponent to both of them. So this is for the power of a product. And for the power of a product, we have a times b to the n, this is equal to a to the n times b to the n. And it's worth noting that there's a very common mistake that students make where they say that x plus y to the n, or I'll use squared here, a lot of students say that this is equal to x squared plus y squared. They're extending this rule that we have, the power of a product, to the power of a sum, and this is absolutely 100% wrong and incorrect. Do not do that. You will go to math jail. And here's our first example. You'll notice that these problems are getting bigger and meatier and a little bit more complex because we have more stuff that we can do with exponents now. So this first chunk, this first power, n to the fifth squared, what does that become? n to the 10th. Here we have a power of a power. We multiply those exponents together. The second piece here, and I forgot to write the outside exponent. We should have a cubed up here. Wouldn't be any fun without that. We need to apply the power of a product rule. So we're going to multiply by 4 cubed times m cubed times n to the, well, what happens when we have exponent to an exponent? We're multiplying them together, so this is n to the negative 6. And now, what can we do? How can we simplify this? Well, 4 cubed, that's 64, and n to the 10th, and n to the negative 6, those both have bases of n. Those can be combined using our product of powers rule from the previous section. This is going to be n to the fourth. And m cubed is just hanging out at the end. Here is our simplified answer. Here's our second and final example of the day. I'm, I'm going to say go ahead and pause the video right now and write this down. See if you can't simplify this and end up at the same thing that I do when you listen to my explanation. Okay, so the first part of this, we have to apply the cube to all pieces. So 6 cubed times a cubed times b cubed. And the second part, we have times 5 squared times a to the negative 6. Okay, so now what? Well, we can take... 6 cubed, that's 216. Well, we have multiple a's here, so let's do some combining. We've got a cubed 
a to the negative 6, those, those can be combined to become a to the negative 3rd. And then we have b cubed. And 5 squared is 25. Okay, so we're making progress. Um, we have regular boring numbers, 2, 16, and 25. Those can be multiplied together. Um, those two multiplied together are 5,400. A to the negative third B cubed. And if you got to this point, congratulations, you're getting there. You're not done yet, though. Uh, there's a little bit more that we have to do, and it's because of that negative exponent right there. Um, this negative exponent causes the A term to drop down to the bottom. So we have 5,400 b cubed in the numerator, the a is going down to the denominator, and because the negative moved it down there, now the exponent is positive, and this is our simplified answer. And that is the end of this. Enjoy the practice problems. I hope you truly have a lot of fun.